Hi everyone, my name is Electric Junkie and welcome back to the RTS project. Now, today we are back on well, the project itself. If you remember in the last video, we'll just leave that for the moment. Um, if you remember in the last video, we tried to get this whole grass uh, wood kind of thing working so when you went over the tile, it disappeared like that. That was the, the goal of the last video and the wood goes up by 30. It didn't end up like that, it ended up with some horrendous results. Um, <laughs> We weren't that far off, to be fair. We were very close. Um, there was one kind of little thing that I'd overlooked in the video, which uh, uh, we're going to go and have a look and change now. So, what I firstly did was I went through um, in here and I made some half tile sprites. Um, they're relatively simple. I also used div as well because I realized that if you're using uneven um, tile heights so for example 41 if you divide 41 directly by 2 it's going to be 20.5 now 20.5 in a grid isn't a whole number it isn't going to work so um, to do to work around that use dip it automatically rounds it um, so yep I made those variables they were relatively simple then I played around with this for a bit before realizing that if we go up that here, when we actually draw the sprites in the room, we added this just randomly, I believe it was to get it in the center. Um, we added this here to the X, and we added this here to the Y. Now, that's all well and good, but as soon as we then try and convert back from those sprites in the room into our grid coordinates, we need to reverse this, in fact. So then what I did, um, we'll try and get this Try and move this. Apparently, we can't. Um, unless we can. No, that, that, that's something I don't particularly like about the new one. I don't. There might be a workaround to that. Maybe we can put them in the same. Yeah, we can put them in the same thing. Yeah. Um, that's kind of confusing. But um, get in there. I know, and it's gone. <laughs> um, anyway. Let's let's just go with that. Okay, maybe we won't then. Sorry. Um, it's kind of hard to work around. All right. Let's just. Uh, oh dear, they've all it's all gone. Terribly wrong. Let's keep them one under another, I guess. So, if in here we've added this to our X, then everywhere in here that we've got X, we have to minus that to counteract it. I put it in brackets as well, I don't know if you necessarily need it, but it all keeps it contained, it all keeps it good. So x minus room width divided by 2, because otherwise if you think about it, every way you go, it's going to be a massive amount off, um, because the room width is quite big. So if you don't minus it, it's going to be a very long way off, so that's why we got some um, tiles on the other side of the room going a bit weird. Um, that, that was because of that, we don't need two minuses. Um, that's all well and good, that's the same there and there, uh, relatively simple, again I use div here because there needs to be a whole number. Um, then we get to the y one, the y one's a bit different because if you look at it here, we minus the room height, which is the same, well no, we plus that, but pretty similar. So to counteract that thing, we just plus room height div 2, um, like that. But then we've got an extra bit, we've got plus tile height due to your half tile height so to then counteract that I just did minus instead um, so it should look a little bit like this 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 bit here is the important thing um, you can also substitute tile width half if you don't really want to write this out into just tile width div 2 that also works but remember if you're halving them they need to be div 2 otherwise it'll come out weird sometimes um, in fact we didn't quite do it there, but I mean the height. I don't think yeah, the height doesn't matter. But just to make sure it's all even, we'll just change that to tell it half height half. Um, just to make sure consistency and all that stuff. So now, if we run this, you should see it working. You should see the same in your one as well. It should work like that. Um, these ones here for some reason don't work, I'm not sure if that's to do with the fact that you're off the screen when you go to them, um, possibly, 
Also, one thing to note is the original tower. Yeah, that one. It doesn't actually ever go. Which, in a way, I think is good. In a way, I think it's bad. I'm kind of indecisive as to whether it's something we really need to fix. Because if you go onto it, you don't just massively stack wood. It doesn't work like that. Um, you still have to you still have to go out and explore so I mean it's not the end of the world it's not a big problem um, I'm also just checking that we're going up 30 each time so I mean from this we can say that whatever you put here ends up being three times this so if we were to put like five we'd end up getting 15 per, per block uh, yep. There you go, 15 each time. So you can mess around with those values if you want to. You can have them set to whatever you really want to. It's not really a big problem. You can um, change it to whatever you want. But now the bonus, of course, to this is because we've used this, we can also then make a new tile. So we're going to do that quickly um, in preparation for the next video. Making a new tile, in this case, it's not very hard. We just go duplicate open this one we'll call this one we're gonna call it what we had some sort of stats didn't we so let's see what other thing other kind of tile we can do because this will be incredibly easy now as well um, overlay draw GY so we have a stone so let's do stone let's do stone um, this one we then need to edit image we're just gonna get a kind of gold gold a grey colour, uh, just like that, I guess that would do. We're then going to remember to save it. Okay, now we go. We now have a pretty simple tile. We're going to include it into the grid. The way we're going to do that is we're just going to go to the create and the object controller. We're then going to up this to two. If, it equal, if ran equals that, we went through the generation before. This is going to be relatively simple. We're just adding another term, if you would, to the thing, to the generation. It's very similar to what we've done here. We just added an extra two there for a randomization. And then we're going to add a different tile. We're going to use tile base one, which should actually be renamed to stone. Um, stone. There we go. Now, if we go and run this, now we should see it visually in the thing. Or maybe not. Uh, we've had a typo there. Tile grid. Grid. Okay. Now, if you run it, we should see it in the game. Yep. There you go. They don't do anything yet. The wood still does something. How can we uh, sort this out? We can. Uh, do exactly the same as what we did before. We can just say else if tile equals. I mean, we need we need to actually before we do this. This is pretty much useless if we've just got this. This is very very not nice. Um, very not nice. Is that is that the word? Um, we need to rework this slightly so let's set this let's get rid of this, let's set this up there, up the top hello apparently we didn't copy it there we go, right so we've got it there we're set right at the top, we can then delete that here we're then going to say blah tile, we're going to get rid of these because these are nasty we're going to say equals global dot tile grid gx gy and then we can just say if tile equals instead of grass tile it's going to be sprite tile grass I don't know why we call it grass tile if it's wood who knows, now if we run that basically we've worked it much more efficiently there. Tile with half not set. We need to also set them before. Uh, 
Uh, there we go. Okay, um, now if we walk over this, same effect, but it's much more efficient. And the bonus of this is then we can say else if tile equals sprite tile stone. And we can just do it exactly the same as here. Set it back to being that, and then add to the stone. Now this is really simple. Ooh. There you go, boom. We just added to the stone. And there you go. Really simple. We've just added a new tile. Um, added a completely new aspect to it. This also doesn't end up being times three anymore because it's more efficient. We're not doing this horrible calculation every single time. And overall, this makes it a lot better, I think. Um, we've made this home a lot more efficient. We made these working and we can now add however many tiles you want to you can literally go in you could really quickly then i just showed you in about two minutes how to make a new tile so it's really simple it's really open-ended now uh, and you can go ahead and make your own tiles now this is a little bit of time when you can go and um, have a little bit of imagination because i'm not going to include anything extra we're going to just go with the bare minimum and leave it open to you but anyway that was uh this RTS project video. If you like the video, remember to like, subscribe. Always do, guys, want to do, and I will talk to you in the next one.